Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So, there have been some major changes since the last episode, uh, and I mean major. Uh, we changed a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'm going to start by going to the engineering really quickly, because we can do this real fast. So, uh, we've got the ability to uh, drop one more mech now, um, but we don't have the ability to get mech control. We need a gamma pod for that. Uh, we are working on getting that done. It's almost done. Uh, once that's done, then we can get into mech control here um, and be able to, to command that additional mech warrior directly, which will be good because we do have eight guys. I did hire one more mech pilot because I want to have one extra just in case somebody gets injured and we need to drop somebody down. But once that's done, um, then we need to do a few more things. We need drive upgrades and machine shop, which isn't too bad. We've got drive upgrades here, 714,000, and then machine shop, 376. So for 1.1 million we can get the ability to increase our drop tonnage by 50 tons, uh, which we'll need eventually, but we don't need it right away. Uh, and I'm also working on getting ship upgrades down here. Each one of these ones here uh, reduces the cost of our stuff stored in inventory by 5%, uh, which doesn't seem like a whole lot, but when you're paying over 2 million sea bills uh, every month, that's going to start adding up over time. So with three of these, that'll be 15% uh, reduction. And with 15% reduction, that'll you know, save us what three hundred and thirty thousand a month, which will be a, which will be significant. You know, it'll be a fair bit over time. So we're gonna work on that too. Uh, we need the training module and getting some more of these things done. Uh, but once the gamma pod's in place, we'll be able to start doing a lot of that. Um, but let's go over to the mechs right now because the mechs is what we're here for. Now. Uh, You'll notice the new Night Gear and the second Archer are now in play in the game, uh, which is great. I brought them both forward, got them all updated. I sold a stink ton of mech parts. If we go to light, they're all gone. Medium, they're all gone except for the Nova. I held on to it because it's a clan mech, and if we manage to be able to put this together, we can get some good gear off it. Heavy mechs, I sold a bunch of junky heavy mechs. We needed the components, so... Um, a lot of stuff that's here is how you know we're almost have the ability to put some of these together uh, which is great and then assault we I sold a couple pieces but not a lot so we do have a few that are almost ready to go here um, so yeah we have a few parts of those that I did keep uh, but I had to do it to be able to get everything upgraded here um, so let's just go through them real quick um, the Grand Summoner this is the guy with the Ultra 20 it is uh, marginally different now not too much different, but marginally. Um, we'll have a quick look at it. Uh, I took off two of the ER medium lasers and put a medium improved laser on it because this guy is going to be close in fighting most of the time. Also, laser AMS as well, because um, you know after that, after the uh, the mission against the clan convoy, we're definitely going to uh, end against the uh, the five skull mission. We know that we need this, so that is going to be in play. I also put the tag arrow on this guy. Uh, because he's going to be closer in, he'll have a better chance to hit with it, so uh, that's why I put it here. Um, so yeah, that's the Grand Summoner. Not much changed on him. And then we've got the Grand Summoner Prime, which was the ATM build before. Now this guy's different now. Let's have a quick look. Now I'm not 100% sold on this layout right now, um, but this is how it's going to be for now. Um, so it's a prototype double heatsink build because it runs fairly hot. So we've got a hyper laser in here. I managed to bring that forward. Um, and three ER medium clan lasers and a large pulse laser with the tag barrage. Now this guy's designed as a close in fighting support mech, um, which is why uh, it's laid out like this. Um, I know the hyper laser's got a long range to it, uh, but we need um, some upfront players. Now I don't really have anything in the cockpit yet. Um, I'm still lacking some stuff that we need to get in here, so uh, once we get some ma material, I'll be able to upgrade some of this, but right now, that's kind of where it is. Um, heat sinking is fairly good, um, 89 over 1 over 3. We just cycle off a couple of medium lasers every every, every now and again. We'll have to work on that, but um, right now, that's how it's going to stand. So that's that guy. Uh, Night Gear Prime changed a fair bit. Uh, not a fair bit, but enough. Enough to make it a little bit, bit a bit better of a pinpoint mech. So we had four ER mediums on here before, and everything, and then of course the two large improved heavy lasers and the ER medium pulses. I swapped out two of the ER mediums for ER larges, um, and moved the medium pulses into the arms. Um, 
So yeah, we lost a, a little bit of lasers. Was able to add a whole bunch of prototype double heat sinks. This thing is running super heat efficient. Uh, I didn't have to change much on this thing. Um, we know from the last mission it was running fairly, fairly cool in the desert. Uh, the heat was going up, but almost nothing, right? So in a cold environment or in plains environment or a city or something like that or jungle, we're going to have no problem with heat on this guy. So we'll see how that goes. I might pull a prototype double heat sink and throw another medium laser in. We're just going to see how we can balance the heat. I know it says 95 over 124 difference of 30 heat sinking, but um, it's not really taking into account this heat dissipating, which is minus 15% weapon heat. Um, so yeah, you know, once, you know, once that gets um, factored in, it's a lot cooler than that. So we also have a laser AMS in this guy as well, uh, which should help out. I've been trying to integrate AMSs into most of them, though, most of the mechs now. Uh, I know people have been suggesting it, or I, I can't remember the person's name, and I apologize, has been suggesting it continuously over and over again, and I've been neglecting it, and now that we're getting into tougher competition, we definitely need them, so they are definitely going in a lot of the mechs. Uh, so the Zeus has changed slightly. We're still keeping the rack build on this guy with the Streak 20. Now, I think, what did I do to this guy? Tag Barrage is still here. I don't think I touched this mech. Oh no, that's right. I was going to. I was going to pull off the LRM-15 and try a different build on it, but it managed to stay the same. So yeah, nothing nothing changed with the Zeus. So the Zeus is still pretty solid. That's right. I was going to pull the LRM-15. I played around with it for a bit and then I stopped. Um, so the Hades has changed quite a bit. Let's have a look at it. Now I'm not really happy with this mech. Uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. It's really going to be a secondary mech at this point. Uh, if we need to drop it into battle, we can. Uh, it's a long-range firepower mech, uh, Guardian ECM, you know, uh, fire control autocannon, Ultra 5 on one arm, Rotary 2 on the other arm, backed up by a pair of ER medium lasers. Plenty of ammo, so I don't have to worry about running out. Um, and that's pretty much it. One jump jet, heat sinks, you know, pretty standard loadout. Um, so it is just a backup mech if we're one of our mechs is down and we need to drop something into battle we've got this guy now the two archers um, they're almost identical and what I did is I built I, I don't know which one this one is I'm gonna have to rename these guys uh, so this one is the new archer correct swarm and thunder yeah so this is the new archer so let me just quickly rename this guy come on Archer 2 anyway we'll confirm that in a second so um, basically the same loadout pair of uh, LRM 20s pair of LRM 15 clans 6 tons of Artemis 4 ammo with an Artemis 4 fire control system tracker sensors I managed to get ta I bought tactics support B uh, out of the store, so I dropped that in. Slick Suite for now, so we can find a better uh, cockpit for this thing. Uh, one ton of Thunder uh, improved ammo, and one ton of Swarm improved ammo, which will help out with uh, those pesky vehicles when they're driving along a road and stuff. One Jump Jet, which is all we need. Exchanger. So this thing runs a little hot, um, but cycling off one ER medium will, will do the trick. And these guys, really, I don't want to have them um, in any place where they're going to need to use the ER medium lasers. If they get a chance to use them, great. If they don't, they don't. Uh, it's also got an uh, AMS Mark II on it. Um, so this guy is supposed to cover the other archer as well. So if they're standing side by side, uh, they'll be protected by AMS. So that's this guy. Let's confirm this so we can make sure we get the name in there. Telling the difference is going to be important. All right, so that's the archer too. So the regular archer here. Let's have a look at this guy. Not much changed on him. So this one, I had to do some tweaking on. Um, we had we originally when I put this thing together, we didn't have actually we didn't have case in the torsos. So I actually ended up putting case in the torsos now. Um, we have swarm improved uh, two tons of that now so this guy is designed to hit multiple targets like multiple vehicles on a road and stuff so that'll help out um, it has much better heat sinking than the other mech um, it's got two jump jets for a little bit more maneuverability 
Uh, I downgraded one of the ER mediums to the uh, um, the medium uh, laser magna. There's a little bit more damage than a regular medium laser for one extra heat. Um, but it's really just a backup weapon. Once again, the heat, th heat sinking on this not not the best, but it's better than the other one. Um, so if we're in a position where we need to fire the medium lasers, you know, then we're doing something wrong, I think, most of the time if we're having to defend ourselves. But with uh, six tons of uh, Artemis IV ammo, um, that's over 10 turns of firing. It's going to give us plenty of ammo. And then we've got, the, of course, the, the two tons of Swarm, which is another three turns of firing. So we're good to go with this guy. Um, so that's the Archer. Uh, the Thunderbolt went through a big change. This used to be our laser mech. We had uh, five lasers on this thing, so it's changed. Now, once again, I'm not 100% sold on this build, but it is what it is. Um, I d decided to drop a couple of MML 15 risks in here just to see if we can how we can get these things going. Um, they do take up a lot of space. I was hoping to get like three of them in here, but no go. So a um, pair of jump jets on this thing for a bit of mobility. I upped the engine core to 300, give it a bit of speed. Got a large pace, in, uh, sorry, large pulse and ER medium is back up, plus tag barrage, um, all in the arm with the uh, arm mount. Laser AMS for self-defense. And as ammo for the MMLs, we've got uh, SRM LK ammo for a little better chance to hit. We've got uh, augmented uh, thunder ammo and regular thunder ammo, LRM dead fire and SRM dead fire. So it's designed to be heavy punch with the risks up close range. We have an active probe to be able to sniff out the enemies uh, and a UAV also to help with that. Now I also included uh, the missile double plus system on this guy to give increased missile range as well as the sensor missile uh, to give us bonus missile range. Uh, and that will offset the uh, dead fire and our SRM dead fire and LRM dead fire range negation. Uh, like it reduces the range because it's dead fire but we'll get the range back because of the other two um, components. So uh, we're going to have good range with our dead fire ammo on this guy. And then a slick suite and a gunnery support aid to round things out uh, to help with hitting because we don't really have any other modifiers. These are in the torsos too as well, so it's, they're a little harder to hit. Uh, plus we've also got SRM counter, uh, counter missiles here. Uh, so we f if we find out this guy's under heavy barrage, we can load them up and um, use the extra... Um, uh, SRM protection. So that's that. And then we've got the Roughneck, which changed. Now this guy had the Ultra 5 and the RISC PPC and a medium improved heavy laser on it. So it's changed slightly. So let's have a quick look at this guy. So this guy's been switched to an Ultra 10 now. Uh, large improved heavy stayed. The RISC PPC left and a medium heavy laser um, got put in as well. Um, it does have a spall liner and an upper hardened um, uh, component here, which, so it'll give us 15% reduced damage. Plenty of ultra autocan ammo. AMS Mark II with extra ammo. This guy is designed as a protection unit for our close range guys that are in battle with the enemy. It's also got a mag shot to help out and some, you know, a bunch of heat sinks to cool itself off. So the heat sinking is actually not that bad on this guy. It's pretty even. Um, so, yeah, I mean, hopefully we can put this guy into battle and it can uh, get up front and soak up a little damage. But once again, it's not one of the best mechs we have, but still it's actually not that bad for 65 tons. And then the last one is the last night gear. Let's have a look at this guy. So this guy became the ATM build. And we've increased the ATMs, so we've, we're no longer an ATM-24, but we're an ATM-30 build. And that's all it has on it, with the exception of the Tag Barrage. So this mech is designed for someone with multi-target. Um, we've got the Tag Barrage, a regular Tag and a NARC Launcher on here. The NARC Launcher has got Haywire and Beacon Ammo. And we're backed up by uh, four tons of regular ATM and four tons of HE Ammo, which is enough for eight turns of firing for each with uh, all of the uh, weapons. So it's 16 turns of firing, so we're pretty well um, ready to go with this guy. Sensor trackers, because I want it to be able to fight in long range as well. It's close. Um, the Artemis for direct fire. We've got the range finder with gunnery on it, because I want to be able him to be able to at least see his targets a little better. And then a laser AMS on here to protect him. Um, yeah, and then one jump jet, of course, just to in case we get stuck on a hill or something. So that's the other night gear. 
Now all the mechs have pretty much max armor. A couple of them are a little lower, but most of them are almost at full maximum armor. Um, so yeah, I feel pretty confident about these guys. Now we got three 65 ton mechs, and we've got a no total of 10 ton, like 10 mechs in total. But we can drop, we can right now we can drop eight, but control seven. So um, having the 65 tonners, one of these guys will be the ones that we're not controlling. Uh, I'm not sure which one it's going to be just yet, but then one, then once we have the control uh, back, we'll be able to uh, um, take control of it. All right, so let's have a look here. Uh, what are we going to do? Command Center, let's have a quick look here. I want to take something at least difficult so we can test this out. And maybe we do this one, four and a half skull for Clan Wolf. Because we're going to be taking a couple of Jade Falcon missions very shortly, uh, probably with a reduced lance. But we want to see what we can do in four and a half skulls with all our guys in battle here. So this is against the local pirate organization. And it's just a straight up battle. Um, so most likely it's going to be three lances, maybe four lances of guys. So let's negotiate this. Going to go full salvage, see what we can grab off the battlefield. Pirates are hating us at this point. So, All right, so let's um, bring some guys into battle here. So we've got... The other night gear, the Grand Summoner is what? This is the Hyper Laser build. Okay, let's get our pilots in first though. Gundal, Mastodon, and we picked up Spoiler. So spoiler alert, this guy's already got uh, Ace Pilot on him. Um, he's a little bit advanced, but not that much advanced. So Workhorse is gonna come down here. Uh, so the Archer Prime, which has now got the Magna Laser and the Archer 2. So let's give uh, Mastodon the Archer 2. Um, the Zeus can go in. The Grand Summoner B can go in with the Ultra 20. This Grand Summoner... What do I want to play around with here? Ultra 10 build. Let's drop this guy in here. Thunderbolt... Um, Take that out for now. Loki has got the what? The rack? This might not be the right mission for this mech. It's a little underpowered. That's the thing I'm worried about. A pair of Ultra 5s at 45 and 45, and then 6 times 25, as long as it doesn't jam, and then an ER medium laser, which really isn't much. A pair of ER mediums. Hmm. Let's give Duck an Archer. It's rare that we multi-target with the Archers anyway. Yeah, let's go that route. And then this Grand Summoner is the one with the Hyper Laser, right? Okay, we want more accuracy on that. So we'll give that to uh, Dallas for sure. Um, okay, that looks good. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Two drop ships. I doubt we'll find much in the way of entertainment here. Oh, I think we're going to find lots in the way of entertainment here. Now, the one thing we did lose is the battle computer, so we lost plus two off our initiative. We don't have very many mech mechs with slick suites, so looks like we got three lances up ahead. Most likely reinforcements from this side. So we're going to need to take this hill here and smash these guys. Um, I'm concerned that this Roughneck is uh, woefully out of position here. At least it's got an AMS on it. Okay. Um, yes, Commander. We're going to move and brace. Let's just get up here and brace. Not going to crest the hill just yet. Okay. He needs to be a little closer anyway. Yeah. Hellion. Let's get up here. I may want to pull that tag barrage off of her. Okay, you're the pinpoint guys. Get back here. It's a lot of lasers on this thing. But it runs so cool. 
Okay, um... Yeah, that's fine. Let's switch this off a of swarm to Artemis for now. Okay, we got guys coming up on the flank. Damage is minor, Commander. What's the plan? Plan is to F that guy up if you can. Okay, they got good armor. Won't be good for long, though. Location. Okay, switch out of Swarm and not Thunder either. Regular Artemis. We got lots of ammo now. I'm not worried about firing it off. Copy that. Oh, somebody was shooting uh, AMS over there. Okay, Phase 2. They go on 27. Javelin. That's fine. As long as it's a javelin, I'm okay. Let's see how well our AMSs do. It's not doing anything? Alright. Now we should have bleeps over here. We got some. Catapult. Is that a catapult or a cataphract? Catapult pirate. Uh, Alright. Gotta kill you. Gotta kill you. It's the heat more than anything I'm worried about. We're gonna crest this hill and put the smack down on these guys. That guy's gotta go down hard. Hunchback. Alright, it's the uh, Goss version. Yeah, we're going to pull to the right, I think. Get right into the thick of it. I want to find out what the uh, dangerous mechs are and kill them right fast. That catapult I'm treating as one right now. Okay, there's a Victor back there. If I remember correctly, it carries an autocannon 20. There's that carrier's got to go. Alright. AMS is working out. Even if it only gets a few, it's going to save us uh, damage every turn. It's going to be a lot of damage over time. Hopefully. Hopefully! God, we're all moving pretty darn slow. Time to raise up piloting and tactics. So this is four and a half. We got victors. At least they're full. You know, I don't mind what's what we have, what we're up against. But as long as they're full strength, you know, it's going to give us a nice, um, nice battle. Another carrier. How many of these things are we going to have? Uh huh. Oh, took a hard hit there. All right. Armor's about falling off right there. It is not. What do we got back here? Ost war? Reduced armor? Victor's got his back to us. Let's get into here. Should pick up sensors on a lot of things. Heavy carrier, that guy's gotta die. Stalker? Big Bertha, oh. That doesn't sound good. Juggernaut. That's that uh, chopper, Castile, whatever it is. Orion, Victor. Cyclops, Crapapult, Carriers, Ostwar. I'm thinking this guy's gotta go. Um. That's multi. B will take the barrage. A will take everything else. 
Um, I'm not going to overcharge the uh, hyper laser yet. Come on, put it right there. Beautiful. The screams. I know it's not screams. It's supposed to be metal or something, but it sounds like people screaming. Ah! This guy's severely damaged now. He should go down this turn. I'm going to try and target this guy as well with a uh, barrage. Then it's just the mechs. Mechs aren't, um, mechs aren't that scary. All right, duck. Flames on the way, but not if we jump. Let's get back here. It's going to make us a little unstable, but I'm okay with that. We're going to target this guy. This Whoa, that's really bad. Uh, maybe not that guy. This guy? That's Why is it better on this guy? He's farther away. Probably because my uh, tracker sensors. 25. Not enough to kill, though. Oh, you know what? Oh, we can't multi- so you got left here in the front. Fair bit. Let's just drop a load in this guy. Beautiful. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Okay, so it's it's they've got two to one. They had two to one odds on us to start. What's the other guy they got back here? Thunderbolt. Okay. They're three-quarters strength, too. Nice. You're not. I think this guy's got to die fast. We got to spread out. <laughs> I think Big Bertha just sounds so horrible. We got to spread out big time. Cyclops Victor. Warning. Uh, screw you. Can you get a sight direct line? Oh, you can get a direct line of sight on that baby over there. Warlord, a little lord will do ya. That guy's got two guns. We better kill him fast. Those are really good chances to hit, though, so I don't think he's going to survive this. Oh, he's surviving it. Okay, one of the sniper artilleries was destroyed, though, it looks like. I don't know if that was ammo, because it looks like it's still intact. Oh, now he gets to go. Of course he does. Well, what the hell just happened? He killed himself? Yeah. I have no words. I have no words. I don't know how brave are you, buddy. They still got all got to move still. Um, gonna give it a bit of reserve here. I want to push and then get hit by that Victor, the Ultra 20, or with A20, AC20 that is. Not sure what that Cyclops is packing either. I should really go back and read up on my mechs again because I, I just forget what so many of these things have. All right. Still got his back to us, eh? That's the chopper, though, that's got his back to us. Pair of Thunders, Rocket Pack. That's a kill shot if we get him. Let's take it. I just doing it to, to save turns. I shouldn't have really shot at that guy, but 
We're jumping into flames. Firing jump jets. Probably cooler not to do that, but let's use HE just in case. Nice. Ping that. Okay, we're going to walk back here. Uh, it's only 20%. We're gonna, he's been hit in the head. Let's take it. We might get lucky. Of course not. Why would indirect fire hit the turret, you know? I know flames are on the way, but we're all right. We all right. We all right. Let's take this off. He deserves the rest, though. Actually, uh, should we multi? Too late. We warlorded already. Okay, nice hits. Gundog goes on 22. Maybe he'll be able to fire him back up. C3, M C3 MS removed, eh? I guess that was coming from the uh, heavy carrier or something? We got an Ostwar. Lower armor. So we killed five already. It's only... <laughs> It's like turn three. Of course, they're all. Most of them were vehicles, and that one of them killed themselves. So we can't really claim <laughs> claim that as a victory. <laughs> uh, but I'll give it to Hellion because that was a pretty damn good rack attack. I gotta say. Okay, I think she should probably wreck that hunchback though. It's next turn. I don't want that gauze rifle getting any closer. Don't piss her off, though, guy. She'll change her target, and it'll be you. And that just won't be a good day for you, that's for sure. All right. Okay, here comes some lerms. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I need to get some uh, some more of those ranged AMSs. Guy's just gonna stand the fire, eh? Commander? Your funeral. Copy that, Commander. Okay, we're gonna overload this hyperlaser. 140 damage, eh? Overcharge, sorry. That's not bad for that range. That's a lot of heat, though. That's still, you know, for that range, it's still pretty gar pretty darn good. Now, I don't think we have tracker sensors in this thing, either. So, once we get that, that'll be even better. Alright, let's just do this. Okay, it hit. Beautiful. It penetrated, too. Just got to be careful we don't misfire that thing. That's my biggest fear. Maybe I'll pull it off and I'll put on the uh, the PPC. Uh, let's just fire on him. Position confirmed. 
He's trusting Hellion. Waiting for orders. Moving out. Okay, who do we want now? Carrier's 28%. Crapapult's got a really good chance. Yogurnaut. Let's go against the, the uh, Catapult. Yep. Let's fire. Let's make him unstable. Or kill him. That works too. Well, he's got prototype double heat sinks. Maybe we can score a few more of those. I got prototype double heatsink kits. Just need more prototype double heatsinks. Can I get a shot at that carrier? Probably not, huh? Um, well, you're a pinpoint mech, so... Let's get into here. I have no idea what this guy over the Juggernaut's got. So let's, uh... Let's LP him, though. He didn't move. Good chances to hit. And you're not going to let me do it. There we go. A lot of armor. He's taking a bit of CT damage already. 78% for the torso, 83 for the leg though. Let's go after that. That's a lot of good hits. Looks like we penetrated the leg. Beautiful. Ooh, Orion. I think we got enough pieces to put together in Orion. Almost anyway. Okay, Gundal's trusting you with his life. Rack better not be jammed. It's not. Let's make jam out of this hunchback, though. That was a critical hit. Sure was. He's feeling that, that's for sure. Get our stability back. Shred this hunchback. I don't want him anywhere near us. Uh, we want to barrage him. Sure, why not? Ah, uh, yeah, we might as well. And we might as well warlord it too, cause just because. Don't shoot your feet with that thing. Actually, let's. Uh, we can't multi. Was thinking about switching the tag over to the javelin, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, he had enough. He's like, F this, man. I ain't hanging out here. All right, Warlord, let's confirm. Might as well. I'm going to fire on this uh, carrier, see if we can get rid of it here. 31%. Not bad. Drop the shiz on him. Not quite enough. Hit yep. <laughs> why do I even open my mouth? I don't even know why I talk. There we go. Get up here. So that's an AMS protected. Who's got the... This guy does. Yeah, with this current Lance, I don't know, that Five Skull mission, we might have lasted longer. They had, did have a lot of carriers, and I think, you know what, um, Fist of Dorn mentioned that if I had moved in and got in close to them, so that uh, their, you know, their fast scams and stuff were affecting them as well, uh, things may have ended differently. Oh, that was a rack. That was a rack five. Warning. Armor low. I think things... You know, it might have ended differently, yeah, but I think um, with this lance pushing up that hill and just opening up on them, we would definitely would have taken a lot of those carriers down early, and that would have changed the battle significantly. Most likely, if we had ripped through most of those vehicles, they may have decided to turn and run, in which case we would just sweep the field with them. But with this lance as it is now, if we, had, if we have control of all eight of our mechs, that would be a good fight, I think. I feel... I, I don't know if we would win it. We would definitely... Some of the mechs would have gone down, I think. 
Oh, it's an Apollo. How many guys do they have over there? Maybe the Javelin was part of the initial lance? So it was the Hunchback, Apollo, uh, Thunderbolt. What was the other guy that we had here? I can't remember. Nice. All I hear is saving your money, saving your money, ps, 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 saving your money. Ps, ps, ps. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's all I hear when I hear the lasers going off. All right, let's take his leg off. See ya. Have a seat, buddy. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. You guys don't got the juice. That's all I got to say. All right, we got to kill that rack mech next. Get the guys with heavy armor up here. Let them see them. So the Cyclops was the one with the rack, right? Yeah, Rotary 5. That's a pretty darn good version of that uh, Cyclops. Pilot should be happy. Orion looks like a um, standard version. Victor. Victor's got a long tom? Well, shit. Rack 5 battle. Can we get a better line of sight on that guy? I guess not, huh? We haven't jammed. Let's make peanut butter out of this guy, though. Want to mess around? Okay, not bad. He's got some good resistance to uh, stability loss, though. Looks like it's that Victor going next. Wait, no, Victor's already gone. Who's next? Hmm. Yes, Commander. Fire and then maneuver, I guess. Let's fire on this guy. Roger. Ah, the flashes are so cool. Okay, I'm gonna not gonna overcharge this laser. Twenty-two percent, huh? Roger, Skipper. Let's get up here. If we don't have a good chance to hit this guy, which we don't, much better chance on this guy. Wow, tor let's go for the torso on this guy. I'm sure we can kill him. Copy that, Maybe not. Nope, doesn't have an XL engine. Guard a critical hit. Receiving. We got a rack five issue over here. Full speed. See if we can just hit him once, make him destabilized. Okay, there's one hit. Lost evasive. Got a direct line of sight on this guy. On my way. It's got the AMS Mark II, so it, hopefully it's uh, protecting most of my guys up here. Oh yeah, good chances to hit. Firing. Some heavy There's the knockdown. Nice. That should just that should pretty much disable that rack. Um, let's fire a maneuver, but let's shred this guy and get out of here. Um, I want to haywire him. Yeah, let's haywire him just in case he survives this. Oh, the Apollo's shooting at us. Reporting critical hit. Ooh, hoo, 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 not the best place to be.
don't have enough room to... <laughs> Alright, we'll move it. Not the best angle, but we'll... Oh yeah, we can go like that. That's fine. That's fine. I guess that, uh... I guess, uh, Workhorse is, uh, just an observer in this mission. Thank you for turning that leg towards me. I'm gonna take that leg off next turn. So we got Gundal going. He's got some mobility, so we're gonna get him down into the fray there with the Ultra 20. Not worried about the guys on the left right now. We can sweep we can sweep them clean when we finish up these other guys. The Oswar might be stuck. No, he's been moving. These guys look like they're running. I think if we can get a back strike with the eight with the Ultra 20 on that Victor. I want to see if we can get rid of that sniper artillery. Artillery. Alright, they're down to 50%. Well, a little lower than that because I got two mechs that are on the ground still, so. Alright, Duck. Um, there we go. Copy that. We got Phantom Mech on, so we're good. Oh, it's the Orion. Okay, well. Orion Backstrike. Thank you. I can do. Can't get a Victor backstrike, huh? Cannot. All right. Um. God, this guy's almost dead. But, we'll do the right thing, see if we can take his leg. Or we can just blow his right arm off. Complete farthest away from where we were targeting. We get his rack though? I don't think so. I think this is his rack here. Yeah, let's see what you do, buddy. A lot of nothing, huh? Decided to commit suicide, did you? Alright, let's end this. I'm getting bored. Alright, finish this guy up, please. She's the Orion killer. Another one for the kill board. You got that right. A little too close, but that's fine. Hmm. Not the best chance to hit. What if we shoot, uh... You. 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 Cyclops. Ah, oh, you're almost dead. Uh, just gonna shoot him. Let's finish him up. Okay, one support lance gone. We're down to six guys. Victor's still running. Uh, that's pretty damn good chances to hit. So let's OP this guy. Let's work on this other leg. And let's overcharge it. 
Maybe we take the leg off, I don't know. All right. Or we can miss completely with it. Sure. Um, weak dude is trying to run away. Four percent, huh? Eighteen on the Apollo, twenty on the Thunderbolts, sixteen on the Oswar, eighteen on the Victor, thirty-four on the Juggernaut. We'll take it. You got a knockdown? Nope. You have order? Not the best place to be. But I want this guy. Just gonna fire on this side. Whatever we get, we get. Yes. We get a kill is what we get. Oh, right leg destroyed. Beautiful. Got two legs. Oh, now you move up. Where are you? Oh, you're right behind everybody. Of course you are. Alright, well. Gundal's turn to take down the Oswar. See if we can get a shot at that Victor from up here. I don't know. If not, then we'll turn the uh, Rack 5 over onto the uh, Thunderbolt. I think Goofy and uh, and Duck here can take out the Apollo. This guy is just going to die if we breathe on him. That Oswar disappeared, huh? These guys are running. I thought, are you going to make us chase you? I guess so. We need to start fighting some more clan units, I think. Ow! We know who that was. Armor breach. Internal damage. That was a bad one, that was. Yeah. Well, we know who that was. We're coming for you. Look at the chance to hit at this range. I mean, honestly. How do we blow his other arm off? Enemy met. Critical damage detected. Good to go. Screw that off war. Here you go. Waiting for orders. Um No, just gonna fire this. Looked like it said the his long tom ammo was gone. Location confirmed. Doesn't matter, he's gonna die in a second anyway. Reporting. Who do you want? How about you shred that Apollo? How's the rack doing by the way? Oh it's jammed. Let's just target this guy. Uh drop the barrage on it. Uh we're gonna war uh it's not warlord. Don't wanna waste it on that guy. Firing. Fire That's a kill. Enemy down. Reporting. Yeah, so we're getting pretty balanced here, I think. Um, let's see if we can get on that Apollo. 
the ATM. Oh yeah, that's fine. Wow, the hey what the narc launcher doesn't have a very good range, does it? That's fine. Okay, we got the target acquired. Solid connection on that one. Waiting for orders. All right. Okay, it's gonna be a multi-target. I'm gonna pull the uh, overcharge. I don't know, hyper laser. I keep getting worried that it's gonna like misfire and explode on me. Ah, uh, we better leave that off. Um, large pulse on B. Oh, a better chance for that on B. Let's just put these back on A. Sure, that's pretty good. Engaging multiple targets. Ooh. It's a lot of prototype double heat sinks I'm not going to get now. It's going down. Yeah. Move forward and F up that guy over there, please. See ya. Alright, we got the Oss Ward still to clean up over here though. Okay, who's going first here? Javelin, probably. 23. The Oss Ward, I have no idea where he is and wh what turn he's going on. Give up, did you? Uh, Affirmative. Both legs, nice. Start moving towards the Oss War. Okay, I'm not going to use the rock on the uh, <laughs> on the javelin for obvious reasons. Oh, there you are. Ah, thanks for showing up, buddy. Commander. Huh. Guy's in a good spot. Let's get up over here. See ya. Look at the pieces fly off them. No such thing as overkill, just kill. Alright, let's rain some death. Well, actually, we have... We got thunder. try this just to see what we get. Uh, I got a warlord to give us a better chance to hit. See if we can do some damage to his legs here. Now yeah, we switch to standard we should be able to hit right? Oh yeah. Barely, but sure. Trying to get close to use the rack. Confirmed. Oh, it looks like there's leg damage he's taken here.
Now I think, I don't think we've got, no, we don't have it on here. Wow, really great chance to hit. I guess because it's extreme range. Now hopefully if he moves, he's going to take severe damage to his legs. Definitely need to get some more of that Thunder Improved ammo. Okay, uh. Thunder Improved, we got 50 left, so let's use the 20 extra 20 launcher, just drop regular Artemis ammo on him. Firing. See ya. That's a kill. You stole it stole the kill from uh <laughs> from uh oh god. Uh, stole the kill from Gundal. No, uh, he's gonna be pissed. Okay, we're gonna I think we're gonna take more damage than that, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, the archer took a significant damage in the in the uh, torso here. We have to watch out for those big weapons, man. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know what else we can do to defend against them. There really isn't anything. Just try and survive, I guess. Now, um, thought there was an Orion part here. Gonna throw that in for now. I may not take it. Heavy MRM 40. 12 tons. Integrated laser AMS. I remember using this in the past. Um, gonna throw that in. I don't know if we'll take it or not. LRM-17, pirate. Six damage, eh? Minus one accuracy. Hmm. MML-20 risks, really? MML-9. So the risks do... What's the difference between this? Oh, there's no chance of explosion or jamming and stuff. That's why. That makes more sense. Okay. Sniper artillery, Tiger Thunderbolt 20, Battle Computer, C3 Masters, C3 Slaves. How much does this thing weigh? Three tons, eh? I don't know if we want to use that, though, because it's going to cut off the... Uh, like we don't want to be using close range for a lot of our guys. We want to use long range because we've got a better chance to hit. Um, unless I'm mistaken. Fire control. This is another one we might want to take. And drop that in for now. Um, indirect. That's okay. That's only if we're using indirect. I would rather not take that. Gunnery support A. Gunnery support B. Those are two huge possibilities. Heat sinks, prototype heat sink kit. We don't have this one. That's the best one too, I think. Sensor trackers. God, there's so much good stuff here. All right, um, you're gonna call me crazy here, but that's fine. Cause I am a bit of a nut job sometimes. I think we're gonna take uh, this. I think we're going to take this. I think that's how it's going to go. These are direct upgrades. Artemis ammo we don't need. LK, follow the leader. Sam, swarm, swarm improved. Thunder augmented. These are great. There's quantity too, eh? What would I ditch for that, though? Probably this. Are 
we going to use this right away? It's so rare to come across that though. Maybe this thing. You can deal without that for now, but I think I want, rather than I, having the um, swarm ammo, I think I would rather have, where is it, the thunder augmented. Where are you here? LRM augmented. It's like four mine damage, six minefield radius. That's going to, definitely going to help out. Counter missile ammo. Yeah, I think that's how we, LRM Hydra. Oh, that's right, that's that, uh, yeah, okay. Alright, let's just take these. Okay, Apollo part, Hunchback part, Hunchback part, stuff we can sell, which is great. Engine core, SRM4 Valiant, four heavy jump jets. We used a bunch of them, so it's kind of good we got some replacements. Well, Protect double heat sinks, that's a good roll. Warfare Swede and some ammo. Alright, not too bad. Alright, let's see how much damage we took. 120, okay, so not bad. We made a little bit of sea bills off that. Just flat out sea bills, but we got a lot of salvage we can we can uh, chuck in. But we're doing okay. We'll make our financial reports. So that's the most important thing. So I'm going to do some immediate upgrades to the mechs once they're back. And when we come back next time, I don't know, I, I'm... Um, the reason why I didn't take the Orion part, I thought about taking it, um, because I think we've got two Orion pieces already, um, but we, we're facing a lot of Orions now, so we can get those later. I'd rather go for the immediate upgrades right now. And I do want to, I do want to pull out the 65 ton mechs, but I just spent all those sea bills on them, so I'd rather not do that right now. Um, but yeah, so the next time when we come back, hopefully we can take on another tough mission. Um, looks like the competition is getting good. Uh, may have to turn it up one more notch, but at least we're fighting fully um, fully armored uh, opponents right now. Um, and they didn't take off right away this time, so that's kind of good. All right, so we're going to end the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.